Hey everybody, TapTap Tap here. This is not another totally accurate battle simulator video. This is a podcast. I just thought, well, it's a, you know, my weekly update sort of thing. I just thought I would, you know, have some background noise while I talk. Uh, not literally background noise, because I muted it, um, but just to have something to sort of look at if you want to. Um, so I, I've been trying to, you know, branch out and stuff for, well, I've been doing that for a while, but... Um, I've been on sort of a good streak and sort of a bad streak at the same time. I, I found some really cool stuff, and I, the Valhalla thing was pretty new, and um, it was really interesting to do another, you know, sort of big, long series again. I haven't really done that for a long time, and um, I'm not entirely sure I'll keep that up, but I do want to try to, you know, um, do more than just one video on some games. Um, there's, there's some series I already have in mind, and the way I'm thinking, I'll probably do one series and then one quick look per day, like if I do vi two videos per day. Um, I also want to be a bit more clear about my like my video schedule and stuff. I think I'll throw that on my channel art, my channel banner thing. Um, and uh, I, I've been meaning to... Two go major goals I have for this year are I want to get back into streaming and I want to get on back into writing stuff like regularly writing stuff for my website sirtapdap.com. I do reviews, guides, and uh, articles on just general gaming related stuff. Um, I've actually gotten some decent, in my opinion, articles out there. Uh, last couple months, uh, there was an article on um, the way Steam could fight G2A if they cared, which obviously they don't. Um, there's also an article, <clears throat> um, I did an article about Kirby's Canon, which I, I was thinking of doing a video on that, but, uh, I, it's so much harder to edit a video than a paper thing, or not a paper, but a, um, a text thing, so I ended up not doing that quite yet. I do want to do some streaming for Kirby stuff, maybe, because I have a lot of fans on Twitter that, on my Kirby Facts account, at Kirby Facts is actually me. Um, so I think I might do some streaming of some Kirby games, and it would just let me have a bunch of video that I could use to record GIFs for the channel, too, or for the Twitter account. So I might do some streaming of Kirby. Not quite my usual stuff, but, uh, you know, the number one thing of my channel is variety, and I kind of want to do a better job of explaining that. Like, I, I'm a uh, longtime fan mentioned that, you know, he's sort of watched my channel change a lot over the years, and it's like... In my opinion, like, it's sort of changed as I've been able to record console things and, you know, gotten review code so I can review things earlier. Um, and, you know, I originally did Flash stuff just because it was easier to record and it was free to get. Um, but I've always been, you know, I always played stuff in a variety, you know, just a ton of different things is what I always wanted to... I wanted to show cool interesting things really i don't have a i don't really have a specific niche other than that um you know i like to show a wide variety i like to show the japanese games indie games japanese indie games um, i do like nintendo games but they're kind of a problem to record but uh kirby and yoshi i, I can make exceptions for though yoshi's gotten me into trouble already um it, well, it's got some content id stuff and so is Pikmin, so I tend to avoid the Nintendo stuff. Um, I also, I've been planning to bring back the weekly update sort of videos, just talk about what I've been playing lately. So, um, to my slight annoyance, I've busted out my 3DS again. Um, I really don't like using it hardware-wise, but uh, I went and finished up um, Ocarina of Time 3D and Majora's Mask 3D. Um, you know, the original games are great, the remakes are obviously hindered by the hardware, but uh, all things considered, they're pretty dang good. I don't like some aesthetic changes that 64 makes, or that, not 64, that uh, Ocarina of Time makes. It loses some of the effect of a lot of things, like the Goma fight is actually really bright. Um, the Water Temple just loses all of its color grading coolness. It just doesn't have the same feel. And they also really neutered Parker, please the water temple a lot like there's all kinds of extra hints and stuff and the whirlpool room has a weaker water a uh, weaker whirlpool effect even though that's really not a primary factor of the difficulty at all like most of the changes they made don't feel necessary 
Um, like they don't really address the major problems that most people had with the water temple. Uh, anyway, so I I played those, completed those. Um, I played some more Legend of Dark Witch too. I, it really bugs me that I can't record that, but I just can't quite justify that. Like um, to have to get a 3DS capture card, it costs like 250 bucks plus a 3DS, and I have majority its mask, new 3DS, and I don't really wanna. Um, I don't really really want to do that to a limited edition thing, and it's like 450 bucks to buy a one with the capture card and and It's just not worth it, especially this late into the device's life. So probably no streams for that, or probably no 3DS videos. Um, so yeah, I beat those two Zelda games. I went and bought Shantae and Zelda: uh, Link's Awakening DX on the 3DS too, since I was thinking about it. Um, haven't really played too much of those. Shantae looks really impressive for a Game Boy Color game. I think I've heard that before, but uh, I never played the original. I really like the Shantae series. Um, I played Rescue's Revenge on my iPad, um, oddly enough. Parker, please. And I got the Wii U version of Pirate's Curse, which is... I think Pirate's Curse is the best one. Um, it has a really annoying final level that I actually still have not beaten. Uh, it does the sort of Mega Man ridiculous spike in the final area, and I I think this is a stalemate. Um, I just wasn't really a big fan of that. Uh, I'll, I'll go back and finish it, but uh, I think I already got most of my enjoyment out of it. Um, but I mean, I, I super enjoyed what I did play up until the last thing, so I mean, I, I got my money's worth even before beating the game. That's right, Parker. Um, what else have I played? I actually got Bunny Must Die, the the new Vita version. I wanted the PlayStation 4 version. I'm not sure I can wait. Um, but I'm actually so busy, I haven't played it yet. I have this thing where, like, when I'm really looking forward to a game, I actually don't want to play it quite yet. Like, I have to be in the right mood and stuff. And so I've actually been playing Parker. Just sit or something. Um... I usually end up playing stuff I'm already playing if I'm like not in the best mood or I don't know if I just don't want to sit down and dedicate a ton of time to one thing. Like I want to dedicate my full attention. I kind of wanted to stream Bunny Must Die, but the thing is it's the Japanese language version. So I'm going to need to figure out menus and stuff. So I do need to play it myself before I can show it off. I do want to show it off, but there's a new um, enhanced port on PlayStation Vita and eventually to P PlayStation 4. Um, this is something I've seen in a lot of Japanese indie games. It's interesting. Like, a lot of PlayStation 4 versions of Japanese indie games are actually not the PC port. They're actually way better. Like, uh, Carly or Sigma is, like, a completely different game on PlayStation 4. It is vastly better. Um, I super recommend the PlayStation 4 version of that. The PC version is good, but, uh, it is much less of a game. Uh, I just wish they were more clear about that because I, I think they think they're targeting different audiences so they don't really need to make it super clear. But it's still a bit annoying because people are like, oh, that's on PC, I don't need to think about that. But it's like, no. There's like a significantly, like it's basically a sequel at that point. But anyway, I'm really excited to play that game but at the same time I haven't. There's also a lot of stuff that came out. There's so many games this year and last year. Like uh, I'm sitting on Headlander and... Um, uh, a couple of other games, like Diaries of Spaceport Jander, that I need to get to. Um, I I just wasn't in the recording mood earlier today, and uh, I really need to get on that. Are archers actually winning, or are those poachers? Um, Parker is sitting... Oh, don't bump my mouse, Parker. Um, Parker is finally sitting peacefully. Um, so that's most of what I've been playing. I've mostly been playing Grand Kingdom, really. I... Uh, I've only just now... Parker, don't block the mic. I just, only just yesterday, released a video for it, finally. But uh, I've been playing a lot of that, and I really like it. Uh, it has some flaws, but uh, I really like it overall. But uh, it would have been a great game to stream, but I just haven't felt up to streaming. I do want to get back in the habit of that. I'm wondering if maybe... I'm thinking I should do at least a weekly video and just talk about what games I played, and then I think... You know, I'll be in the habit of doing weekly stuff, and then I think I'll try and start up a stream, like a a weekend stream. The the weekday stuff just, ugh, it was too much of a pain. Um, 
because sometimes I just want to chill after work and then I break the schedule and then I let it slip again. I just don't want to get back into it. So I think a weekend stream at a not exact hour for now would be the best idea for me. Um, I'm also excited for Valkyrie Drive. I finished up, I stopped playing my Vita because I've finished up Valkyrie Drive for now. Well, I've, I put back in um, Hyper Devotion Noir. I actually never finished that one. That's the one. That and the PS3 Hyper Dimension Neptunia 1 are the two Neptunia games I haven't finished. Um, the Valkyrie Drive localization is happening, but uh, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get a review copy of that or not. I haven't heard back on that one. Um, I'll try to cover it for release if I do get a copy, but if not, no big deal. I already did at least one video on it. Um, that's a really fun game. If you like Sanran Kagura, you'll like it. Same um, same dev team. Different art style, but it really it looks really good. It's probably one of the best looking games on Vita, really. Uh, especially for games with an anime art style. Um, the It's sort of weird, though. The P-Cube is doing the location, localization instead of Exceed, who does the Center and Kagura stuff, and Rice Digital handled the limited edition, and they're based in the UK. And to ship it, the li limited edition is uh, 80 bucks, which I don't mind. Or th was it 70? Uh, it, it was like 20 or 30 bucks more than the normal, which I don't mind. It had it has an art book, and the OST in a nice box, and I, I'm usually in for the art book. And the music's pretty good on that, actually. Um, same same deal for Senator and Kagura, though I think they're different uh, composers, actually. Well, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't keep the most track of composer stuff. But uh, anyway, the shipping for that was 30 bucks to the US. It's like, I tend to pay less shipping from uh, Japan, and that's including a currency conversion. So uh, I'm a little eh, on that. I I'm not sure I'll get that because that that brings the price up to basically, uh, well, considering it's a Vita game, more than double the regular retail price. So assuming it comes up on US Amazon for the physical copy, I think I'm just going to buy a regular copy of that one, which is a shame. But uh, oh well. I really wish, I got to say, I kind of wish Xseed had picked that one up instead of P-Cube. I guess P-Cube also does, does stuff for uh, Galgun, which I thought Indie Creates would publish. I, I guess maybe they don't self-publish, I don't know. Speaking of Indie Creates, um, Gunvolt's coming up pretty soon. I went and ordered the uh, physical copy for that, too. They got Gunvolt 1 and 2 on one cartridge, so that should be pretty cool. And I want to talk about Gunvolt, but I, I would need a lot more time than I have here to talk about Gunvolt. It, it's flawed, but really good. Well, pretty good. Um, just does some silly stuff. And it's it, it feels a little too geared towards com perfectionists in terms of its score and equipment systems. But uh, I guess that's about all I have to say. Other than this summer sucks. There's so many bugs and it's so freaking hot. And I've actually had to take breaks between recordings, because, I mean, I turn off my AC to do recordings, and so I've had to just take a break and cool down between them, especially since I have to wear these heavy headphones. Um, and then the bugs get in, and there's so much pollen this year, and just, ugh, this summer sucks. I usually don't mind summer that much at all, but this is not a good summer. This is a very bad summer. Yeah, I... Yell at me if I don't do another one of these next week, I guess, because I do want to get back in the habit of doing the sort of update videos, and I do want to... I want to try to keep more up on, you know, playing the new games that I get, because a thing I do is I'll, I'll, I'll get games to review, like new stuff, and it just slips by, and I end up doing a video for that quote-unquote new game, like, two, three months later. And I mean, I don't mind covering games late, but... Uh, it's also, you know, sort of a missed opportunity when I just, I literally could have, you know, had it, you know, I could have reviewed a game day of embargo, but I let it slip and that, I don't like doing that. I'm just trying to, you know, keep up on things. You like the pets, don't you, Mr. Parkers? Yes. Yes. I'm genuinely considering getting like a sort of uh, a video camera to record Parker. I guess we can do one more. Um... Oh wait, this is not Sandbox. Um, I did one more, there's actually one 
Um, one more thing to talk about. I I had some more recording troubles, so I'm thinking I will actually do all of my recordings in the future on my second PC. I'm gonna I have a second like I had a spare PC and I sort of built it up and once I get my new GPU, I will basically be able to use it for all of my video stuff. Um, Cause I'll put my old GPU in that PC and then I'll move my capture card over too. And then I can basically do all of my capturing through that capture card, um, even when I play PC games. And then recording stuff won't affect my PC games directly at all. So it'll suddenly be a bit easier to do that. And um, all, since all of my stuff will be recorded in the same way, Technically, it's a bit easier, though I have to remote onto the PC to uh, actually, you know, do stuff to best with recording. So it'll be different, and I already recorded one video, Replica, um, had some audio issues, which is why I ended up trying this. So I think in the future, that's how things will go. I've, I've been thinking of my expenses for the rest of the year are probably going to be new GPU, and I kind of think I need to get a boom arm for the mic so I can mount it somewhere that's out of the way, but I can keep it there, because I currently have to take it on and off the desk, and that results in sort of inconsistent audio depending on where I have it placed. Just a little fussy. But, uh, yeah, recording video is a bit more complicated than you might think, you know. Just press the record button, right? Uh, I wish. I mean, sometimes it's that simple. Sometimes it's a complete train wreck. This will hopefully bring things more to the simple side, but it's also a somewhat expensive solution, except I already had most of the PC stuff, so you know, it's, it was sort of a backup PC that I never ended up needing, because I mean, I it's built from parts that I replaced, but I didn't want to sell the old parts because selling stuff online is a huge pain in the butt. But yeah, hope, it's one of those things that hopefully shouldn't affect how you see things, but it'll hopefully make things a bit easier and more consistent for me, which should mean less, you know, editing errors and weird stuff for you all. You know, it's an indirect benefit. And, <laughs> I love when the arrow is almost to the screen. As always, if you want to help me get new equipment, you can always support my patron. It's, uh, well, there's, actually there's a link in the bottom of every my, one of my videos description. It's just, you know, buried at the bottom. But uh, all of that money goes to new equipment and stuff. I've always got more stuff to buy. And you get nice Parker pictures and early videos, depending on what tier you back. All my patrons get all of the Parker pictures I've taken. Is that right, Parker? Yeah. Alright, well, see you next week, I guess.